Hey everyone, Merrick here, and this is The Whispered World, the game published by Didalic Entertainment. I believe they may also be the developers. Anyways, I picked this game up on sale to go with the game that I started recording before I realized that it was a sequel. So we're going to go do this one, and then that video will come out after this one, and it'll be a big whole confusing mess later. But here we go, let's get started with The Whispered World, a point-and-click adventure game from Didalic Entertainment. It may make you sad to hear it. But this is the last story I'm going to tell you. I know, you like to hear funny stories with jolly people and a happy end. But I don't have the strength for that anymore. What difference would it make if I lied to you? Well, my last story takes place in a land far away, a land that is about to die. It begins in the autumn forest. This is the story of Sadwick, the sorrowful clown. Sadwick is sleeping uneasily, like every night. And he doesn't even know that he'll destroy the world in the course of just a few days. So pretty. Great animation. These guys are amazing. And the music is just bomb. Love it. God, look at that animation. Some classic 90s cartoons. Sandwich? What a nightmare. Every night it's the same. I can hardly remember the last time I had a decent night's sleep. Spot? Wake at Spot B. He usually comes to see me in the morning. Um... Yes. Okay. Drawer. Ooh. I did not read what I was supposed to do. Um... Open the drawer and take a look at what's inside. Having the eye symbol, you can look at an object by tapping the hand symbol, you can pick up an object. Okay. I don't see an eye symbol. Anybody see the symbols? Oh, you click and hold. Oh, yeah. There's only that stupid note in there. Pen made me write down all my chores. Pure harassment, if you ask me. Oh. Ah, what the heck. I'd better collect the note anyway. Maybe I'll find a fire somewhere. Meh. Oh. Look at that. Items to interact with. That's Ben's spare hat. He doesn't like to wear it quite as much as he used to. He says it sags too much since I spilled all the starch. Hmm, what was that note again? Ah, yes. I remember now. It's where Ben sketched out how the human cannibal act is supposed to work. It's so unfair. He can even draw better than me. Stupid Ben. The most important thing is a solid barrel for the cannon. After all, the cannoneer shouldn't be harmed when he blows me sky high. 
That's supposed to be me. Ben didn't get the fearful expression on my face right, though. The plug is attached to the mouth of the barrel. It's the only way to get enough pressure to blow me hundreds of yards into the air. <sighs> oh boy, how I hate this act. Huh. A small bomb or some gunpowder are sufficient. Just load the cannon and light the fuse. Everything else will turn out fine. Seriously, that's what it says. Everything else will turn out fine. <laughs> I can't believe this is real. I love that he's even incredulous, like, what? A parachute should provide a safe landing. Then there's nothing to worry about, is there? <laughs> yeah, I, I, got, I got you, dude. Uh, uh, looking at my inventory, I would like to evacuate, okay. There's a note. Friend has given me a lot of tedious chores for today. <sighs> Why did I even bother to get out of bed? Oh, depression. No, don't be depressed. Ah, yes. The broken stovepipe. Quite funny how the mind works. Since the handle broke, I made a fuss about how cold it is. Forgetting how I always complained about the smoke before. Can you talk to the hole? I guess somebody should blow out the suit. Someone who's taller than I am. And not an asthmatic. And who doesn't fear dying from suit poisoning. Somebody other than me, then. Good idea. This rock reminds me of one of the most basic principles of life. No matter what you have accomplished, no matter how big your paws or how sharp your teeth are, you can still end up being a doormat for a band of circus clowns. <sighs> you know what? Let me see if I can fix the um, screen resolution. Yeah, I might be able to. Full screen mode. Nope, that's the best we get. We're gonna have to deal with the sidebars. I'm sorry, guys. Let's open the door and get out of here. There was something else over here I could look at, wasn't there? Look at that. Marbles, ruffs, small bells. <sighs> I'd be less embarrassed wearing a potato sack. Maybe we should get you a tater sack. Let's go. Sadwick! Are you awake? Come here at once. The day's already wasting away. Uh, no? <sighs> right. Another happy day in the colorful world of the circus. Spot! Don't just lie around like that. What's wrong with you? What do you think's wrong with him? Maybe he's sick, the plague, or food poisoning. Don't talk such nonsense. Worm fungus? Blue pox? It could be anything. He's thirsty, Sadwick. That's what happens if you don't carry out your chores properly. Spot can take it. He's tough. You've got a lot to learn. Caterpillars don't grow very old. Not if you treat them like this anyway. You better get used to the idea. You're just saying that to annoy me. I'm serious. You better give him something to drink. Yeah, whatever, Ben. Shut Come up, on. Ben. Let's go, Spot. We get you something to drink. And after that, maybe we can finally do something useful. Shut up, Ben. Come on, Spot. Let's go. All right, on. Spot. Time to have a drink. Yep. Wash bucket. Spot's adorable. There you go. Oh, he rolls! Oh, he rolls! <laughs> oh, man, that's great. What does it say? Right clicking to switch back to normal. Hold on, wait a second. Swatch is only transfer ball. You can switch between ball form and normal form and move in the cursor to the upper right hand corner of your screen. Upon reaching the corner, spot menu will open up. Alright. Upper right hand corner. Oh. 
platform. Yeah, I know. We'll do that. Just about the best. All right, let's let's go talk to Ben. Ben's a jerk. Hi, Ben. Hi, sleepyhead. How often do I have to tell you? Rehearsals start at sunrise. It's not my fault. I slept very badly last night. Slept badly? What's that supposed to mean? I did not, not sleep those well. those nightmares again. They're not ordinary nightmares. They always feel so real. The earthquake, the craggy rocks. Good heavens, Sadwick. Now pull yourself together. You're a clown, a jester, an entertainer. You're supposed to make people happy, not depressed. Uh, Can't someone else play the clown? And what do you want to do instead? <laughs> Lion taming? <laughs> Just face it, Sadwick. You're not talented enough for the big acts. You can't juggle. You can't throw. You can't even perform your human cannonball act properly. I'm just fed up with honking noses and farting sounds. Why can't we provide high-class entertainment instead? <laughs> and what would that be? Um... How about theater? Ah. Theater? Nobody understands those pompous blowhards. Do you know why people love the circus? Because Peanuts. they don't have to think too hard. Ah, I get it. If somebody is in search of a real knucklehead, he can come straight to me and... His search is over. Hey, wait a second. All right, all right. The theater idea is off, but... Um... I've written a couple of poems. Oh, please. Spare me your poems. Believe me. Nobody needs your cerebral whining. I sneak to the mirror in the darkest of night. I stare at my image and just see the clown. The louder he laughs, the harder I fight. Oh, sinister world full of hardship and frowns. Well, Sadwick. That's exactly why nobody likes you. If you really must write poems, why not some funny limericks? Limericks? There once was a young circus clown who imagined the sky falling down. He imagined so bad that it made him quite sad. On his face, he wore always a frown. <laughs> okay, no poems then, but... I really wanted to, like, punch Ben right in the... Donk. Such a douche. I'd like to do something intelligent is all. Listen, we make good money without producing anything. What could possibly be more intelligent? How about philosophy? What kind of thing? What could be more entertaining than getting to grips with the very nature of existence? Not getting to grips with it. Do you have more of those... You're right. Spare me your sarcasm. Nobody likes that kind of humor. Now, I do. Go and practice your <coughs> or the human cannonball act. Um. My nightmares must mean something. Nonsense. Dreams are for losers. Wow. The same with your books and your poems. It's time you got a grip on the serious side of life. Does that ring any bells? Hmm. <clears throat> You mean colorful balls and makeup? Geez, Sadwick. You're a real pain. You need to wake up and... Dude, fuck that Ben guy. You. And don't forget, you're a clown. <sighs> Just, oh, fuck that Ben guy. Thank you. Grandpa looks even older than usual today. I really wish there was a uh, hello, command. Grandpa. Oh, oh like a... hello, Ben. You look different. Is is that a new hat you're wearing? I'm no. not Ben, Grandpa. I know, Ben. <laughs> they don't make hats like they used to anymore. I'm Sadwick. When I was a little clown, we used to wear real hats with big, firm bubbles. Sadwick. Your grandson. I could knock out a full-grown ox with my bubbles. <sighs> I know that poor animal, but that's the way people like their hats back then. Now, what can I do for you, Ben? Hmm. 
I had one of those terrible nightmares again. There's a cute saying I remember from my boyhood on that very subject. <laughs> what was it? There, I forgot. You mean the old saying, dreams are ten a penny? What? That's nonsense. Dreams are not ten a penny. I once knew a guy who, who sold dreams at considerably higher prices. Now <laughs> that I think of it, uh, that guy might have been me. Who in the world bought dreams? No one. Well, that was where the plan fell short. Ah, but it was worth a try. There are always fools who spend money on any little nonsense. I like this old man. Say, Grandpa. You've seen huh, you can say that again. You can ask me whatever you, um, uh, whatever you can carry. Do you know anything about nightmares and visions? I know enough that I can't give a profound opinion about them. Only real oracles can interpret dreams. And they're the only ones that can tell you if it was a vision of some sort. I once thought I had a vision too, you know. Ah, yes, an angel appeared and told me that one day my pantaloons would save the world. <laughs> I was so excited. I went on pilgrimages, gathered disciples around me, and performed services, and all that without ever changing my pants. Finally, a, a, a gypsy told me that it had only been a nightmare. Oh, Ben, you can hardly imagine how embarrassed I was. Five years in a monastery simply because I had chili casserole before bedtime. <laughs> Amazing. What do you know about the Autumn Forest? Ah, the Autumn Forest is uh, it's an enchanted place full of mystery. Strange creatures dwell there, but, but not as many nowadays as in the past. <laughs> in ancient times, lots of diverse tribes lived there. Ah, you can still find traces of them in, in, in ruins and in, in caves. When I was a child, half the valley was submerged underwater. Now, there's only that little lake with the island. That's all I can remember at the moment. That's not surprising. You'd even forget the color of your hair if you didn't look in the mirror regularly. <laughs> but I still know that it starts with a G. That doesn't count. You're just guessing. But I'm right. Why? Yes, um... See? Uh, that's, uh, that's all I need to know. Uh, please let it be green. <laughs> Dude, Ben's a dick. Shut you up, You know ben. what? Yes, yes, yes. I might still seem quite bright in the head, <laughs> hey, but sometimes the details get a little mixed up. Uh, okay. See you later. Cheer up, Ben. Let me take that shovel. Ah, he's rolling! Oh, he's adorable. Shovel my pants. Take those. Keep your hands off the laundry. You'll only soil them again. Shut up, Ben. Stupid Ben. What's that? The fire dragon trap is empty once again. Grandpa always uses Nawahi eggs as bait. What is that? Bruno sleeps almost all day. He has to drag our trailers through dark forests during the night. I bet he never has nightmares. On the other hand, nightmares. maybe this world is his nightmare. Ooh, that's deep. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I guess we can go into, into here. That's what Bruno is for. Oh. The door is rotten and loose-fitting. It's a miracle that Grandpa... Can I open it? Oh shit, we're taking those. I don't know why I just picked up the dentures, but I did. Grandpa has always had a soft spot for animals. What's that? Grandpa's latest creation, petroleum soup. Inflammatory on the stomach, highly flammable in general, and a hazard to all low-flying birds in the vicinity. More recipes. Well, who would have thought? 
Those really are regular recipes. There oh. goes my theory that Grandpa is preparing our meals from the fishing bait manual. It's a good theory, though. Evil eyes. Grandpa uses them as cooking ingredients. He calls the dish eye candy. Yeah. Well, who would have thought? Those rare goes my si Yeah. Cooking is one of grand. Not that I didn't offer to. It's a shine of how low. I mean, patrol. <sighs> Alright. Um. I want that. Like, there are just some things you just gotta have in your pocket, you know what I mean? What if I... Take that... I don't really want to know if that's one of Grandpa's regular ingredients. Okay. Well, I got some loot. Loot, 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 loot. Where are you going? To do my chores? I want to look around the forest. Don't get lost. Don't worry. Bye, dick. Guy's a jerk. Oh. What the? <laughs> I could have told you that. You and your sense of orientation. <sighs> ben. I don't like you, Ben. I think you smell funny and your hat looks dumb. What do you think of that, Ben? Damn that Ben. Damn him to poops. Ben. All right, we're going to wrap it up here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, family, comment, suggestion, some of the comments section below. And of course, if you enjoyed this, you haven't subscribed, consider clicking that good old subscribe button, YouTube, late, in order to get fresh content out. All that being said, I'll see you next time.